Okay, so today what we're going to do is this is kind of day two of our, our standard form. And really what we're going to go over is one, identifying something that can be put into standard form versus something that can't be put into standard form. And then we're going to talk about graphing using the X and the Y intercepts. So remember, this is your standard form, AX plus BY equals C, where A is greater than or equal to zero, A and B are not both zero, and A and B and C are and A, B, and C are integers. Remember, this first part is A, this is B, this is C, this is your constant. So let's talk a little bit about identifying if something can be put into standard form. So when you look at a problem such as this, X plus one over Y equals seven, this right here cannot be put into standard form because you have the Y on the bottom of this fraction here. So this does not allow you to actually put it into standard form. Otherwise, with the way it's set up, it would already be there. Uh, so this right here prevents you from that. So when all I'm trying to do is get you to recognize it when you see it go, oh, that can't work. That, that's all we're trying to do here, okay? When we look at this, 7n plus 8m equals 4 minus 2m. There are no x's, there are no y's. So when they use things that are not your normal uh, variables of X and Y, you go in alphabetical order. So the M, that's your X. N, that's your Y. So that's the way that you kind of recognize what should be where. So this can actually be put into standard form. So you add 2M to both sides, and this gets you... Uh, 7n plus 10m equals 4, but now I'm going to switch these two around because this in reality is my x. So 10m plus 7n equals 4, and there you have, you have standard form. Here's your a, here's your x, here's your b, here's your y, here's your constant, your c. Okay? So when you look at this, 2r minus 3 r times t plus 5t equals 1, this cannot be put into standard form. Notice right here, this is what prevents it right here. This r and this t being in there, where you have these two separated, this right here with them together prevents you from being able to put this in standard form. So this does not work, okay? All right, x over t, or sorry, x over 2 equals 10 plus 2y over 3. This can be put into standard form. You just need to clear your fraction, and then you'll start to recognize it and be like, oh, okay, I see how that works. So clear your fractions, get a common denominator, multiply them both each term by the common denominator, and that'll clear this fraction. So you end up with this 3x equals 60 plus 4y, and now, you just need to move your 4y over here with your 3x and you'll be in standard form. Minus 4y onto both sides. And so you end up with this 3x minus 4y equals 60. There's your a, there's your x, there's your b, there's your y, there's your c, and you're good. Okay. Now this one, just like the first one, except now you have the x on the bottom. This won't work. When you have your variable on the bottom here, you can't put it into standard form with the way that the math works out. So this won't work for you, okay? The other thing to watch for is this right here. That's not gonna cut it either. You can't put this into standard form. It won't work, okay? Now this, we talked about in our last video, x equals two. It's already in standard form, remember? x plus zero y equals two, standard form, okay? Same thing with this one, except now your x has the zero plus y equals three. This is already in standard form. So recognize these as being in standard form when you see them, okay? Now here, just like when we had this, the square over here, having the square root, this right here is what prevents you from being able to have this in standard form. You should be able to recognize this. Oh, that can't be in standard form. And then as you come back through here, okay? Oh, that doesn't work, okay? That, that won't cut it. 
right here. This won't work. This won't work. And this won't work. If you can recognize what doesn't work, you start to be able to go and say, oh, okay, well, I know I can put these into standard form, and I know I can't put those into standard form. So it kind of makes it a little bit better. So now what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about how to use your X and Y intercepts in order to graph standard form. So here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so that you can see this. So here, fill in the table and graph. We have 3x minus 50y equals 150. It's in standard form, but we want to be able to graph it. So what we're going to use is we're going to use our x and our y intercepts in order to do this. Now remember, if you have your x intercept, in your ordered pair, the y is 0. So you get to put your y in there as 0. If you're looking for your y-intercept, the x is 0. So I get to put in 0 for x. So here, that's what we're going to do. We're going to plug in our x and our y-intercepts to find out a good ordered pair and then use that ordered pair in order to graph our graph, okay, graph our line. So here, 0 in for y, okay, 3x minus 50 times 0 equals 150. And, and this is, uh, makes it a little bit easier. This is what standard form is really good at, finding your x and y intercepts. That's what it's used for most of the time. So 3x, negative 50, times 0 equals 150, because what this does is it gets rid of that y here, so that we don't have to worry about it. So now you have 3x equals 150, and now you can divide by 3, divide by 3, this cancels out, and x equals 50. So now we have one of our ordered pairs. Look, when y was 0, the x was 50. So 50 comma 0 gets us an ordered pair. And then we can turn around and we can do it with the other one. Okay? 3 times 0 minus 50y equals 150. That cancels out. Gets you negative 50y equals 150. Divide by negative 50. Divide by negative 50. That cancels out. Y equals negative 3. So when X is 0, Y is negative 3. Negative 3. So here's our two ordered pairs. This will allow us to graph our line. So 50 comma 0 and 0, negative 3. So right here goes a negative 3. Right here goes a 0 and here goes your 50. So we're going to put a negative 3 there. negative 3. We know that our other ordered pair was 0, and then here is 50. Okay, So there's our two ordered pairs. See how I turned green? Told me I got it correct. All right, But now we want to go down here and we want to graph these. All right, So there's a couple things about this graph that you need to notice. First off, with these increments, I cannot get 50 on there. So we're going to have to change the increments on our graph. The way you do this, and this is important because you're going to have this for homework, so you need to know how to do this. As you see this right here, this is our settings. It pulls up, and we can change our x-axis, how it's incremented, and we can change our y-axis and how it's incremented. This is really important for you moving forward. You're going to have to be able to look at your graph and change this. All right? So here, let's first look. What do we want to change? We need our x to change so that it can hit that uh, 50. So that's what we want to change. The y is good. The, we wanted an increment of 1. 
the x here, we need in increments of 50. So here, we need this here. I'm going to go up here to the hundreds and see what that does to my graph. Now look, that's all hundreds. I don't really like that very much, so I'm going to change it back. I'm going to change it to 50, increments of 50. So now I have a good graph here. Negative 50, one, negative 100, negative 150. So now I can hit this 50 comma zero right there. All right, and then I kind of click out of the graph so that it'll leave my line there. And then zero comma negative three, zero, negative three. That gives me my line right there. And see, it, with this right here, it allows me to kind of arrow, move it over a little bit at a time, but I don't want that. I'm good right there where, where it's at. I got a green dot, I got a good answer. All right, so you may have to play with your increments to be able to actually graph these a little bit, so be aware of that. But this right here, you gotta be able to do. That's what standard form is used for, is to find these X and Y intercepts. So you can actually come down here and actually graph your line, all right? Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can do one more. All right. Again, same thing. It says graph this. X minus 125Y equals negative 250. I want to do the same thing. I wonder if I can draw on this. So plug in your uh, Y intercept and your X intercept so that you know what your ordered pairs are. So here, let's do the easy one first. We're going to plug in 0 for y. Well, negative 125 times 0 gets me back this 0, right? So x equals negative 250. Made it easy on us right there. Okay. The next one you're going to want to do, x is 0. This is your y-intercept. So plug in 0 for x, 0 minus 125y equals negative 250. So far, so good. Divide by negative 125, and y equals 2. y equals 2. Okay, so here we got a 2. But now we want to put this onto the graph. All right, well, we're gonna change our x again, just like we did before. The y looks good, but we gotta change that x. And we need to be able to hit negative 250. So let's do that 50 again. That looks like that's gonna be a pretty good number for this one. Uh, we could do 100, but that might be too much. Yeah, so here, negative 250, negative 250, Zero, that's good. And then zero comma two. Zero, two, and we should have a good line. That's what we're looking at, all right? Maybe it turned green, but I don't know if that's what, what our problem is there. Yeah, there's our answer. Looks good, okay? As you're gonna have to be able to uh, change those increments on that on that graph. That's what I see being our issue here. I don't think that plugging in the zeros are going to be the issue because that's just solving the equation once you substitute in. That's all you're really doing. Okay, so be prepared for it. Understand what's going on. If you have any questions about how to actually do this, let me know. There are a lot of different problems here that will kind of go through that. But it's the same setup. I just want you to see it's the same setup. Okay? That's all it is. If you have any questions, let me know.